how to create wordpress website with infinity free so hello everyone so in today's video i will show you guys on how to create a wordpress website using infinity free so without further ado let us begin so the first thing that we need to do is to register an infinity free account so to do that it's basically simple just click on register now right here and then after that it will ask you for your email address and a password so just do all of these and then just click on sign up and then once you're done just click on sign up after that it will now ask you for a verification link from your email so just open up your email and then just click on the button for the verification link and then after that you'll be redirected here in the homepage dashboard of infinity free so once you're here the first thing that we need to do is to create an account in infinity free so just go to the account section right here and then what you want to do is just go click on create account and then after that you'll be redirected here for the hosting plan section so they have a uh, starter premium super premium ultimate premium and infinity free so for me i'll just use the free version so i'll just click on create now right here and then after that, it will now ask you for your domain name. So you can either use a subdomain or a custom domain name if you want to. So for me, I'll just use a subdomain. So I'll just name my subdomain as sample website WordPress. And then we can change the domain extension right here. So feel free to choose what kind of domain extension you want to use. So for me, I'll just use this one, .free.nf. And then after that, what we want to do now is to check the availability if this subdomain is available. And then once it's available, you'll be redirected here. And then after that, once your domain name is approved, you'll be redirected here. So yeah, the, the thing that we only need to do here is to select the email consent. So just click on that and then just say, I approve. And just verify that, that you're a human and then just click on create account and then there you go we are now done so from here what we can do is just click on finish or we can just click on open control panel so we can configure out some settings in our website so that we can add it to our wordpress account so i'll just click on open control panel right here and then i'll be redirected here so it says right here important notice to notify you of changes to service account status changes offers and other important service emails we need permission to send you email so please click i approve below to allow us alternatively to continue with no email alerts which may cause you to lose your account click on i disapprove so yeah just click on i approve right here and then there you go it says right there the panel will now load so just wait for that to load and then there you go we are now in the control panel of infinity free so the first thing that we need to do here is just scroll down until we see software right here and then just click on softaculous apps installer so just click on that and then after that we'll be redirected here so the thing that we need to install is wordpress right here so just click on install and then we'll be redirected here so once we're here all you have to do is just scroll down until you see admin account right here so what you want to do from here is to configure your admin username and admin password. So I'll just do that right now. So I'll just name the username sample username. And then after that, I'll just type in a new admin password. And then once you're done, just scroll down until you see install right here. So just click on install. And then let's just wait for this to install. So this might take three to four minutes. So please don't leave the page until the progress bar has reached has reached 100. So there you go. It's now done. Congratulations. The software was installed successfully. So after that, what we need to do now is just go click on this link right here. WordPress has been successfully installed at this link right here. So let's just open this up at a new tab. And then there you go. So... Here we are at our website. So the first thing that we need to do is to just log in. So to do that, just go to the search bar right here and then just, and then just add slash login at the end. And then after that, what you want to do now is just to enter your email address and your password for your WordPress account. And then after that, we'll be redirected here in WordPress admin. So from here, we can install any um, WordPress plugin or theme that we can use for our website so feel free to customize these out so the next thing that we're gonna do is to change our ssl certificate so as you can see over here at our search bar right here it says right here that our website is not secure so to make it secure what we're gonna do is go back to the infinity 
free website and then just go to free SSL certificates and then after that what you want to do is just click on new SSL certificate and then after that what you want to do is to just enter the domain name of the website that you created and then once you paste your website in make sure that you should remove the HTTP right here remove that and then after that just click on create order so after that will be redirected here. So the first thing that we need to do is just click on set up C name records right here. So just click on that. And then it says right here, the C name records have been set up. So please note that it might take up to an hour to take effect due to DNS propagation slash caching. So all we need to do now is wait. And then once you've waited long enough, what you can do is to just refresh the page. And then after refreshing, you would know that the verification is done. When you see this um, ready button is now green, so yeah, so once so once your ready button is now green, just click on request certificate and then after that it will now start this dispatching the order. So just wait for that to finish as well. And then after that, once it's done installing, you'll be redirected here in this new page. So the thing that we need to do here now is just click on install SSL certificate automatically. So just click on that and then there you go. It says right there the SSL certificate has been installed. So it might take up to 15 minutes for it to become active. So let's so just wait for around 15 minutes and then what you can do once 15 minutes is done, you can just refresh your website and then you will see right here that the not secure um, tab right here will be gone. And then once you refresh this page and you would see right here that the status that says SSL certificate is active, what you can do now is go to the website that you have made and then what you want to do is just refresh the page and you would see that this not secure icon will disappear. So let's do, so let's do that right now. I'll just click on refresh right here. So when I refresh my page right here, as you can see that the not secure um, icon has disappeared. So yeah, that's pretty much it on how to create a WordPress website with Infinity Free.